So I want to do a quick comparison before and after of what the original throw is like to what it's like after the short shift. Here is the original throw. We'll go from the center of the dash. So we're looking at, that's at about do it from there. That's two inches all the way back. That's about eight and a half. So that's a six and a half inch throw from first to second gear. So we are roughly at three and a half inches to about seven inches from first to second, which is three and a half inch throw. So this is a job I've been wanting to do for a while now. It's the short shift on a VW T4. Mine's a 2000. This does work on I believe all of them. There is a slight variance where one of them's got a ball instead of a, a bushing, which I'll show you in a minute. Have already been underneath and checked. Uh, make sure mine will come off because they do get quite seized. So I'm going to show you how to do this and hopefully this will help you out. What we'll be needing is just a normal socket or ratchet, sorry, with a 13, let me show you, a 13 millimeter socket on it a 10 millimeter spanner there we go and i just use this just some lubricating wd-40 will work this is what i had to hand so first things first as you're already on the top is go inside the engine bay and just down let's see if i can zoom in for you just down in there, you can just about see that rod. The one I am touching there. Oh, that one I'm touching just there. In fact, you can just see the bushing just there. You need to pop this out. Just pull it all the way up. It's just literally, well, if I zoom out, I can show you. All you've got to do is grab hold of it. Just about see. And just pull. There you go. As you can see, it's now loose. That's that part done for down here. Now we need to crawl underneath. Now that you are underneath, you need to undo that, which is a 30 millimeter. You need to undo the actual linkage part. That side's 10 and that side's a 13. And this bar here, that linkage will fall out. The other end of this one, we've already undone on the top. Once you undo that bolt, that whole bracket just there falls down and then you can do your short shift then. You can find this is quite hard to do. Push it through and then just use your spanner just to get that out the rest of the way. Put your socket on there and just undo that. And once that's done, you've got this linkage. You can, if you can move this bit, like that, just grab all this bit, and then give it a twist, pull down, and a twist, and then that whole arm comes up, gets it out your way. And then, this is the fun part. This bit here gets very, very stuck. As you can see, I have already had this off. But you're supposed to twist side to side and pull down at the same time and it will come out. After a little bit of uh, twisting and pulling, it comes completely off. Be careful of this rod because on the other end of it you have got that. You don't want to get it caught and break anything. So once you took that bushing out, keep that to one side because you'll be needing that again. Try and find a drill bit the same size as the hole. As you can see, this one is uh, slightly too small. I'm going to try it and see if I can get it to work. And you need to work out the middle in between these two, and then that's where your new hole is going to go. After you've done that, put the bushing in the new hole. It was just about the right size, so it fits. Then reattach it to your van 
and then you have a short shift that's roughly the distance I put mine so it's roughly the middle so let's go reattach this to the band and see what difference it made when you do have it on part of the way what I would recommend is get the bolt put it on and then use that to try and do it up and make that gap because it's a very tight fit and you're going to be here for a while so make it easier on yourself then you need to reattach the gear linkage this then just goes into your new hole you just put it in give it a twist and it goes in sorry for the light and connect it to back to this end push that back onto onto that bolts all the way through terminal nut on the end and tighten up last but not least make sure that this rod is back where it needs to be because there's nothing connected you can easily just manipulate it to where it needs to go Short shift all done. Now let's have a test drive, shall we? Wow, that was nice. First gear is a lot further away from the dashboard. Second gear is only just below it now. A lot shorter throw. But I honestly wish I did this ages ago. Less throwing around, feeling like I'm driving a lorry. This install took me no more than half an hour, a little bit longer because I had to film and it's made a world of difference lovely and short or when i changed gear especially when i was in first or third i was very close to punching the dashboard now i've got a good inch or two away gears feel a lot smoother very happy with that install very easy to do and other than a 10 mil a 13 mil spanner or ratchet um and a drill you don't need any tools at all and it doesn't make a big difference so go try this one out anyway please like comment subscribe take it easy